Hi there, Ken Hill here. Welcome back to another episode of Guns, Gear, and Freedom. Today, I would like to talk about budget red dot sights. Um, as far as budget red dot sights go, you're probably thinking, uh, they're probably not very good if you don't spend three, four, five hundred dollars on a good red dot sight. I don't think that's entirely true. Um, I did take a look on Amazon for several different budget red dots that can be had for less than a hundred dollars. Um, one of the ones that comes across as being able to retain a zero and that might work well with an AR-15 is the Pinty Red Dot Sight. Now Pinty does have a website with a lot of other products on there. They have pistol sights and, and just a bunch of other stuff. But anyway, they sent me out a budget Red Dot Sight to try out on my AR-15. Um, I have a Core 15. It's chambered in 5.56 NATO, 223 Remington, and I think I'm going to go ahead and add this on to my rifle and go out to the range, kind of do some shooting with it, see if it zeroes, holds zero, that kind of thing, and then we might knock it around a little bit and see if it still holds zero after, uh, after we've shot it a few times. But before we can go out to the range, I'd like to put it out on the table, uh, show you guys what it comes with, and then um, we'll take it out to the range afterwards. So. Let's get into it. Alright guys, let's go ahead and break into this Pinty Optic and see what it comes with. Let's see, they plasticed it up pretty good and boxed. I'm just going to go ahead and kind of open it up here. We'll try to slide it out as soon as I can get it out of the plastic. There we go. And let's see, it comes with a hard case. Um, not too bad of a hard case. But um, inside looks like we have uh, what appears to be a riser and the sight itself. Let's see here. We'll have to take these out of the packaging. Uh, it is well packed, so it comes with a battery. It looks like it also comes with a wrench. Probably going to need a wrench, uh, yep, for uh, that little bolt right there. And or screw, and it looks like it also comes with a microfiber rag uh, to keep your lenses clean. So um, what's kind of neat about this uh, little case here is that it has actual foam in it. So um, yeah, it's pretty neat. It actually comes with uh, quite a bit of stuff, so that's good to have. Um, we'll probably put the battery in it and uh, check it out. All right, we'll slide this out of the way. Let's open this guy up and take a peek at it. Oops. Get it out of the bag here. All right, guys, so uh, what you're looking at here is the Pinty Red Dot Sight. Um, obviously, they've got Pinty on it. Um, pretty much mounts to any standard Picatinny rail. Comes with a rubberized, like, I guess, dust cover. But uh, anyway, this guy here, this is some instructions, I think. Let's take this out. Um, pretty much kind of shows what the parts are on the optic. And let's see, red dot sight. Uh, shows what model it is uh, HD26. So inside the manual, is some specifications HD26 model uh, reticle red dot um, 1 by 20 power objective lens dot size 3 MOA and uh, every click value is uh, 50 yards 1 MOA brightness setting red yeah there are 11 settings brightness on this dial here let's see if my lighting will catch it you'll be able to see but uh, 1 2 3 4 5 6 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11, but yeah, they just kind of pretty much twist. Um, the feeling of these twisting actually are pretty solid while I'm doing that, so that's not bad. Let's see, I think we're going to have to put the battery in it. Um, it comes with one, so that's a good thing. I'm going to go ahead and uh, do that now. So first thing we got to do is take this cover off. Battery out. Do that off camera because it's kind of hard to try to wrestle with it on the camera. But we'll try to pop it out there. There we go. All right. Just uh, looks like it's a, a standard battery. C 
R2032, I believe. Yep, 2032. Alright, let's go ahead and put that guy in there and twist the lid back on. Try to get that lid off. There we go. Get it tight. Awesome. Alright, let's take the dust covers off this puppy. Take a look at it. It comes with a decent set of dust covers to keep your optic uh, clean. And let's see. Oh, the thing is, oh yeah, I turned it on. Let's see. Let's start down at a low brightness setting. Let's see how bright it actually is. We're down at zero for off. And then you're going to have, let's see, there's one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and there's your eleventh. And it actually is pretty bright. Um, that's pretty solid. And then off. With the Pinty Red Dot, you can actually save yourself quite a bit of money. Um, this thing runs about thirty to forty dollars online, and. It's not going to be a site that you're going to go take uh, into battle, really. I mean, this is going to be more geared towards somebody that's wanting to plink around out at the range. And uh, I think it's going to actually work out pretty good for us. The Pinty HD26 is made out of rugged 6063 aluminum. It has an LED light emitting diode, which is red, and it is 100% safe for your eyes. It has precise 2-3 to three MOA dot size, very small parallax, rapid and accurate shooting in 50-100 to 100 yards. There are two levels of dot intensity and they offer more comfort to the eyes. Fog proof with nitrogen gas, purged waterproof in 30 centimeters for 30 minutes and passes a strict waterproof test. It will hold a recoil from calibers 223 to 556 and 308 762. And it says it's shockproof and passes strict machine testing. This thing is compact and it comes with a 20 millimeter Picatinny rail mount. I think it's pretty neat looking actually. It's got a coating on the lens it looks like on that side. Not much on this side. Um, it is pretty clear to look through it though so uh, that's a plus. Anyway let's go ahead and get this mounted on the AR-15 and take this thing out to the range. I think all we're gonna have to have is a wrench right here. It comes with like a, well, you can see, it comes with that wrench right there. We're just gonna mount that onto probably this riser that it comes with, and then we'll mount the whole thing on my Picatinny rail on my AR-15 and take it out to the range. All right, well, let's see you out at the range. Hey guys, welcome back. We're out here at the range today, and behind me I've got my AR-15 made by Core 15 Systems, it's chambered in 556, uh, and also 223 Remington. This gun currently has a Pinty Red Dot sight installed on it, and we want to show you guys that today. Um, I just want to be clear that this sight is not a sight that you're going to want to go out into uh, battle or go to war with, but uh, this sight is probably a decent sight for uh, plinking around. Um, something that you probably don't want to put through a lot of abuse, but uh, it will it will hold to zero and uh, I'm going to demonstrate that Well guys, as you can see, this sight actually did hold uh, zero. I was able to hit and shoot and continue to shoot and hit. So um, it's decent for 
price really um, for plinking I don't see anything wrong with it what I'm gonna try to do here just to see what it will do I'm gonna try to hit it around a little bit kind of maybe knock it off zero maybe and uh, just see if it can take a little bit of a beating uh, I'm gonna use a bottle of uh, armor a body armor and uh, whack it around a little bit see if it can take the beating Oops, starting to poke a hole through my jug, so uh, that's all the beating I'm going to be able to give it for a minute. But uh, let's give it a shot again and see if it still holds zero after beating it up like that. I'm not sure, but maybe. Well guys, as you can see, after beating this thing up, it still held at zero. I was able to continue to hit targets downrange, so I'm pretty sure it's safe to assume that this optic, even though it is a budget optic, it's actually a viable option for plinking around out at the range. Well guys, thanks for joining me out here at the range today. I had a lot of fun testing this Pinty side out. If you guys want to get one, check the link out in the description. You can actually pick one up on Amazon. Uh, relatively inexpensive. So these things work great out at the range, uh, plinking around, but uh, like I said, probably wouldn't take it to war or trust my life on it, but uh, so far from the little bit of beating around I did on it, it worked really well. If you guys like my videos, be sure to like the video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and uh, share me around on social media like Facebook and Twitter. It helps me get the word out that I'm doing videos like this and it helps other folks find us. So if you could do that for me, really help me out. Thanks for watching. Have a good one. The folks out at Winston were kind enough to send us out one of their Winston Elite RS0 portable gun safes. Now this is the RFID version of their portable gun safes, and so we're looking forward to opening up 